You're setting up a new business and one of the first things on your to-do list is choosing and buying your website address, AKA your domain name. Uh, now there's a lot of competing advice out there and a lot of factors at play. And some things are great for SEO, but terrible from a branding perspective and vice versa. Not to mention that the market's pretty saturated and a lot of the best names are already taken. So given all that, Choosing the perfect domain can be a bit of a juggling act for sure, but in this video, I'm gonna show you a practical checklist of what to go for, what to avoid, and how to prioritize all these factors to make your job of choosing that perfect domain name easy. Here we go. So how can you choose that domain name that your customers can remember, type in without any trouble, and help you get found in searches. I'll show you all that plus a really cool trick toward the end that you can actually use to truly have the best of both worlds, even if it seems like there's no way. And all the stuff has been researched by Moz.com and other branding and SEO experts and shown and proven to be the most important things you should be looking out for. So let's talk about the first criteria you wanna shoot for, short and memorable. Um, it's, and it's pretty obvious why, right? You know, the longer or more complicated your domain name is, the more chance there is of people screwing it up when they attempt to share it, and certainly when they type it in. And that's if they can even remember it to begin with. So now is not the time for long tail keyword phrases. And if you're the law firm of Ziffrin, Brittenham, Bronca, Fisher, Gilbert Lurie, Stifelman, Cook, Johnson, Landy, and Wolf, which is a real law firm, by the way, then yeah, no. Keep it as short as you possibly can without making it too short and then hurting your branding or ranking potential. Next, let's talk .com versus .anything else. So here's the thing. A lot of domain names you might want are probably already taken, at least in the .com version. So people start thinking, hey, that's okay, I can just get a .net or a .luxury, which also is actually a real thing you can get. And in fact, a new industry has pretty much popped up this past decade of all these new, uh, what we call top-level domain extensions. I've even been hit up to advertise a few of them over the years. Um, some of them actually sound kind of trendy and cool, and some are certainly specific, like .beer, which seems like it'd be a great fit for a brewery, or .george, which seems like a perfect fit for a Costanza, but I don't recommend them for one very simple reason. People have a built-in association with .com. They think of websites as .coms to the point where if you told them to go to my website, mikesdogtraining.net, most people would remember that as mikesdogtraining.com. So if your .com isn't available, Rather than just calling .NET your plan B, I'd actually make that more of a plan C behind tweaking the name of the .com slightly, if you possibly can. So something like getmikesdogtraining.com. That makes it a bit longer, yeah, but that's something you'd want to weigh out. But I think adding that one short word to the beginning is worth sticking with .com, and it makes the name a little more actionable and fun in my opinion. And if you really can't find anything acceptable as a .com, my second choice would be a .net or .co. Um, I'd really leave out the more clever ones because most people will just be confused by those. They'd see jets.pizza and think, Wait, they probably mean jetspizza.com, right? And then they're just gonna hit up Domino's. So now we get to the biggest debate over domain names. Should you go for something classy and branded or for something more keyword driven? So there are definite pros and cons for each of these. So let's just talk about it. First off, when I say a branded domain, I mean something like altaclinic.com. And a keyword driven version of that might be chicagodermatology.com. So with the pure branded domain, it reads cleanly, it's memorable, and it feels like a real brand. Those are all pluses. Um, for chicagodermatology.com, it closely aligns with what people might actually search in Google for, making it much more likely to rank for that term. And in this case, it also happens to be somewhat memorable but it doesn't really sound like much of a brand, does it? You know, this can be slightly or significantly damaging to your click-through rate, depending on how egregious it is. For instance, how likely would you be to click through to bestplumbersinorlandoflorida.com versus 
allclear.com. You know, one feels like a legit company, like it's branded, and one feels like you're gonna click through to a really slimy, spammy page, right? But choosing something purely branded can really hold you back in terms of ranking and searches. And when you're a new website, you need all the help you can get. And make no mistake, exact match domain names do give you an edge still to this day, even though some people say it's getting to be less and less of a ranking factor. But for now, it's still a thing. So here's what I actually recommend. Not an exact match domain like bestplumbersinorlando.com, but a partial match domain, something that combines your business name and your top keyword phrase, even if only partially. So if your business name is All Clear Plumbing, you might wanna go for something like allclearplumbing.com or possibly something like acplumbingorlando.com. You know, both options are still branded. It's just a matter of how aggressive you feel you wanna be here. And if you can just use one of your keywords rather than the whole phrase. Because remember, even having one very broad keyword like plumbing can still help you. It may not be as SEO powerful as plumbing Orlando, but you'll be way ahead of where you'd be without it. So find that middle ground by compromising on your keywords and possibly even shortening or abbreviating your business name if you need to. But I'd personally rather see you use your full business name with one good keyword. So I promised you a trick you can use and here it is. If you can't seem to make this work by combining your business name and your best keyword phrase into a really great .com, you can either buy a .net or .co version or possibly a more aggressive keyword rich domain and a shorter, punchier, more branded one as well. So you'd then use the keyword domain as your actual site where it lives and then simply redirect the branded version to it. That way, searchers on Google are more likely to just find and click your keyword domain name. And if you do a good job with your title and description meta text, they probably won't notice the genericness of your URL as much. Then, when you tell people where to find you online, you just tell them the branded domain. It's easy to remember and it'll still take them to the same place because it'll redirect to your actual website. So that would be the outward facing domain you'd use out in the world, but you still want to build backlinks and business citations to the real domain, you know, the keyword domain. And in time, as your business grows, or if keyword domains start to lose ground in search, you can always start thinking about transitioning to your more branded domain, because you own that as well, and then just switch the redirect around. But I would encourage you to try to make just one domain name work first before you resort to this. Um, I do have faith that you can get creative and land on something that works perfectly for your business. So if you wanna get started looking for that perfect domain name and hosting to go along with it, this next video is gonna walk you through the steps you need to get it up and running in just a few minutes. So you can see if what you want's available and buy it all in one easy step. So just click right here to get that video and my special discount on your domain name and hosting. So click right here and I'll see you on the other side.